All right, so time has come to take out the transmission, to assess the damage, see what's what needs to be replaced. Um, I don't want to replace both things, but if I have to, I will because, you know, cost. But my main suspect right now is the flywheel since, you know, I read that online that if it, it slips and you don't smell anything, it's most likely the dual mass flywheel. It is the old flywheel. It looked pretty beat up from the get go. So honestly, it lasting this long, it's kind of surprising. But let's get into it. Let's jack up the car, start taking it apart. Honestly, to me, the worst part about working on this car is jacking it up. That's the part where I slack on the most. It's the part I dread the most. I just hate doing it. It takes a long time. I wish I had a lift, obviously. But anyway, the car is jacked up. It's not at its highest level right now. It's just for me to be able to unbolt everything, take it out, and then once the transmission's gonna come out, I'm gonna raise it higher to the highest setting. So here we are under the car. There's exhaust. The little white spots because I have a coolant leak and actually I lied. The thing I hate the most about working on this car or doing anything in this car is taking off the drive shaft. That thing is so annoying because you have to use the Allen key and one by one also with the Loctite it uh, you just have to keep on turning it turning it and it takes quite a while. Oh and also you gotta go up press the e-brake if you don't have anybody helping you. It's it's a pain but whatever we gotta get this done. I'm gonna start taking off the exhaust and and the drive shaft. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So here's the exhaust out. Pretty easy to take out. If you're wondering what it is, it's a Blitz Nurse spec from here. And the downpipe is a RMM or a RMM replica. That's what the previous owner told me about but three inch all the way down with resonator and muffler. Okay, so the drive shaft is now off. I really hate taking this thing off because it takes so damn long, but there it is over there. Now we gotta take off these bolts right here. But before we do that, since the transmission is gonna go down a bit and the whole motor tilts, I gotta disconnect the couplers because last time I did it the motor was literally uh, hanging off the couplers and I kind of stretched one out you could kind of tell on this one but yeah I don't want to do that mistake again we just pop these off take off the the bolts and tilt the motor all right so since we're gonna lower the transmission we gotta take this off since you know this could rip the boot or actually break the panel So here we are on day two on taking out the transmission. Got, like I said, I got the drive shaft and exhaust off. Another thing I did was take out the transmission brace or at least loosen it. It's right there getting held by the jack. I had time lapses of taking these two off, but I had the settings wrong and the videos came out too fast. I recorded for like five, 10 minutes and it only came out to like a two second video. But yeah, I just got to take out the clutch slave and loosen up the transmission that's all that we have today well it's still a big job so there's a slave right there just gotta loosen that line right there with the line wrench and then i gotta loosen the eight bolts eight seven bolts are on the transmission some are 17 some are 14 the two top ones are a pain so i don't know if i have to take out a little tripod you see up there we'll find out i took it off last time but i'm going to try to do it without taking it off this time all right so you can kind of see in there already there's a lot of dust in there but there's no oil so i'm pretty sure the rear main seal is canceled out but when i first separated this transmission from the motor about a year ago we took uh, I would say a couple hours to do so because we were so confused why the transmission wouldn't separate 
and that was because of this little fork right here and this takes literally seconds to take out you just got to yank it out and i did not know about that until you know now well not now but until we took it out that time and now you know the transmission doesn't take too long to take out so you pretty much just grab it and yank it out see look that's it a couple seconds and it took us two hours to figure it out we we're looking on forums everything keep in mind we're not you know mechanics at all we just you know work on our own cars because i'll be honest can't really afford shop bills but yeah keeps us learning you know you gotta live and learn so now we're gonna start taking out the bolts there's the ones that are really hard are the starter bolts which there's one here and then there's one all the way in there and these are obviously pretty easy and they're not torqued terribly high i think it's like 50 something pounds if i'm not wrong but yeah the ones that are hard are the starter ones and the two up top because you got to tilt the transmission quite a bit and i'm going to try to get those i'm going to try to get a good angle for you guys and make like a little time lapse of that one and actually make a, a good time lapse So now you can kind of see the bolt a little better. It's all the way in there. Uh, where's it look? All right, so hopefully you guys can see the bolt a little better. So it's all the way in there. And look at this big old extension I gotta use. See, the ratchet is literally right here. So yeah, it's a couple feet of extension. You can see where my coolant was leaking or it looks like it kind of still is so i gotta fix that once this is out but yeah so i guess i'm knocking two birds with one stone fixing this and the coolant leak that coolant leak has been really annoying especially since it's in the back of the motor but we're gonna get that sorted out too and have no more coolant mess but yeah i'm gonna take that out and after that the transmission's coming out okay so the transmission's ready to come out I know this looks really sketchy, two jacks, but I'm by myself and I don't have a transmission jack, so it's what I'm working with right now. That's how we took it out before and it worked out pretty good. All right, so here it is, the GoPro died. So I missed, you know, the removal of it. So I had a couple problems actually that the GoPro missed is that this actually got stuck in the transmission tunnel. So I had to take this out and, you know, just yank it up. And also I forgot to disconnect this. So there's a clutch. That's the next thing we got to take out and we're going to see how badly, you know, hotspot it is. See if it's even reusable. That should take about 10 minutes. You know, this was the hardest part. We're almost there. All right, so I got all the bolts out. You can see my nasty coolant leak in there. And this is the moment of truth. And I already see a bunch of particles coming out. Oh, fuck, the clutch just fell. pretty wasted I guess it's not as bad but I mean it just fell so that couldn't be too good for it and there's the flywheel it's pretty nasty nastily grooved to be honest there's the pressure plate so definitely not leaking but yeah it's definitely had an issue because you can see a bunch of hot spots right here why well, they messaged me so a bunch of hot spots and it's really grooved and this is pretty nastily grooved too so yeah i'm just gonna replace everything